In this session, let's compare Python class variables and instance variables. A class variable has the same data for all instances of a class. However, an instance variable has unique data for all instances in a class. I will build on the previous session using this employee class. It's not true for all companies, but some companies give a bonus to their employees. This bonus will be $10,000. Bonus is a class variable, and the instance variables are defined using self, self.name, self.impnum, and self.salary. Bonus is a class variable because it is defined inside the class but outside each method. Therefore, the class variable is owned by the class and is shared across all members of a class. The members of a class or instances and methods. Let's start by sharing a class variable using an instance. Then I will show you how to share a class variable using a method. We share using an instance by writing each instance imp one dot bonus and imp two dot bonus. Since bonus is a class variable, we can also access the bonus variable name by using the class name employee.bonus. Then print the value for each one, employee one and employee two. When I run, we see the same value for each instance and employee. Let's separate both employees by writing their name and their salary. So I'm gonna write imp one dot name, comma imp one dot salary. And I'm gonna copy and paste. And I'm gonna change one to two. Bonus is a good candidate for a class variable because both employees receive a bonus. Anytime we create an employee, they will get a bonus. We can also update the bonus for the entire class after initializing the bonus by writing employee dot bonus equal to $15,000 run and the console shows $15,000 for both employees. However, we know all employees do not receive the same bonus. So I can update the bonus for one employee. How about I change employee two by writing m2.bonus, then assign a value of $20,000. Now, when I run this time, we see a different value for Jane Doe. Employee one does not have the bonus attribute. However, employee two has the bonus attribute, but only after updating the value to 20,000. Let's print the dictionary by writing imp one dot. Do you see the two underscores before and after dict? That's a way to see the namespaces in Python. Selected for employee one and also for employee two. And I'm going to do this before updating the value to 20,000 and after updating the value. Let's print the namespaces for imp one and also print the namespace for employee two. So when I run this time, we're gonna see the console return all of the namespaces. However, the namespaces we see are name, impnum, salary, but bonus only shows up the last time. That's because bonus, which is a class variable, only belongs to the class, but was created for employee two when updating the value. This concept is important for the next concept for sharing a class variable using a method.
I'm going to show you how to access the class variable using self and the class name employee. There are times when we should use class and other times it's best to use self. Define the method by writing DEF and the method name, which is add underscore bonus to salary. The variable name will be salary underscore bonus. The value will be an integer. So let's write the int function self dot salary plus at this point to access the class variable, we must use self or the class name employee. If I only write bonus, then an error shows up that says unresolved reference bonus. Let's start with employee dot bonus and return the employee name by writing self dot name. I'm going to also insert a space by writing backslash in, then return the salary plus bonus by writing the string function and write self dot no my bad the salary underscore bonus okay i see why it's doing that let me concatenate it append it by writing salary underscore bonus and also insert a line now the next step is to call the method from our two instances we can also use employee class but Let's focus on employee one and employee two. So I'm going to write imp one dot add bonus to salary. And I'm going to also print and do the same for employee two. And when I run, notice the value for salary plus bonus. We see 149,000. That's because it combines 134,000 plus 15,000. But notice employee two, it shows $165,000 when combining the salary of 150,000 plus 20,000. 165,000 is not correct. It should show 170,000 and not 165,000. Now it shows $165,000 because I use employee.bonus in the add bonus to salary method. For this situation, it's best to use self.bonus because self allows us to override the bonus value for each employee. Run, and this time we see $170,000. There are cases when we should not change the value. For example, the number of employees in a company should remain the same for a class. Therefore, as a class variable, we write total underscore employees initialized to zero. In the initializer method, we can increase the total number of employees by one when creating a new employee. Employee dot total employees, and I'm going to use the shorthand by writing plus equals one. The init method runs automatically every time we create a new employee instance, John Doe and Jane Doe. Let's print employee by writing the print statement employee dot total employees when i run as expected we see two employees that's it for python class variables and instances thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video